Hello, uh, greetings from the Philippines. Um, it's already Sunday morning here. Uh, folks at home, it's 12 hours ahead of, of you all. And um, anyway, my family and I will be going to church pretty soon. Uh, I just want to talk today about praise, <clears throat> worship, and praise. Um, I, I uh, was reading one time Psalm 149, I mean, a long, long time ago. And that's where our text is. And when I was reading it, as soon as I started to read it, I heard the Holy Spirit say, read the last verse first. And it's kind of strange that, that the Holy Spirit would have all this written in the order that is written, you know, because every scripture is God breathed. You know, it, it, it's the men of old were, were inspired by God, not just man's words, but a message from God to men. And, and if you look at Psalm 149, the Holy Spirit inspired the writer to write this, this psalm. And he, ins he inspired them to write, you know, we, there wasn't verses like we have them numbered, you know, for us to be able to find them and, and everybody can get on the same page. But uh, it's kind of strange the Holy Spirit said, he said, read the last verse first. And if we read Psalm 149, 9, it says, To execute upon them the judgment written. And listen to this. It says, This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. <clears throat> well, that's all encompassing. It's not every person on the earth because not every earth person on the earth is a saint and when I say saint I don't mean a person that's perfect and given sainthood by the Catholic Church I'm talking about every believer true believer born again born from above people from God's kingdom and the only way is through faith in in Jesus the Jesus of the Bible God the Son, God the Creator of everything. Always been God. Never was anything besides God. Always been God. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. The Word was God. Amen? When, 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 when God said, let there be light, that was, that was God the Son. And it's our faith in him and his finished work on, on the cross and his bodily resurrection from the dead. Faith in that that brings us salvation. <clears throat> and so if you, if you have given your heart to Jesus, you're a saint. You may not look at yourself as a saint. Other people may not look at you as a saint. But God imputed to you his righteousness. It's, it's his goodness that, that that's covered you and he says this honor has all of his saints praise ye the Lord and then I read the first verses afterwards this honor you have this honor I have to praise God and and you know, there, we, we praise God because of who he is. We praise God because of his character. We praise God because he brought us this great salvation. We praise him because he loved us first. He, fought, he sought us out. Nobody found Jesus. He found you. And you can be found of him today if, 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 you have, if you're not in, in the body, if you're not already a saint. You can be so today by responding to his call. Give your heart to Jesus. Confess your sins. Ask him to be your God and your Savior and your Lord. Hallelujah. For all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe that. It's God's word.
But let's go back. Verse 1 says, Praise ye the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song. Praise him in the congregation of the saints. So now when we go to church, we'll be in the congregation of the saints today. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Now, I don't want to really get into a lot of uh, detail because I try to make these messages short. But the church is the spiritual Zion. And Israel is the, the, the natural Zion. So the, 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 the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise him, his name, and dance. You know, we, we've gotten so refined. We've gotten so, oh, my gosh, I, 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 I'm thinking of a word, but, but we, we've gotten so proper. That we can't dance before the Lord. I tell you what, I dance before the Lord. Sometimes I have such joy in my heart, I can't stand it anymore. I gotta get up. My dance isn't pretty. It's not, it's not worldly. It's just my demonstration. We're supposed to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, our soul, our strength, and our mind. And if you do, how can you without giving him you know, some praises from your body. Worship him. Shout, sing. And look at here he says, Praise him and dance. Let him sing praises upon him with a timbrel and a harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people. And he'll beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud upon your bed. Imagine you're laying in bed and, and the whole house is hearing you singing praises to God. Let the high praises of God be in your mouth, a two-edged sword in your hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen, punishment upon the people, to bind their kings with chains and their, and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute upon them the judgment written this honor has all the saints. Praise you, the Lord. You know, in, in the Old Testament, people, people, you know, there was, kings went to battle. They fought against the, the, the Philistines. They, they, they disposed the Canaanites, the Ammonites. And there was a physical fight. But but in the Old Testament, that's those sort of things were done in the in the natural. Those same things are types for us to look at in the spiritual realm. And see, this is the word I was looking for. As a church, we've gotten our our, our faith sterilized, proper, neat, pretty. When, when, when the Bible says that Satan has come down to the earth to make war with the saints. The Bible says that we, we, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but spiritual powers in high places. We, we are the ones that submit to God, and we are the ones that resist the devil. We're waiting for God to rebuke the devil, and there is a devil. There is a devil. He roams upon the face of this earth. There are demonic realms and they're trying to steal you of your salvation they're trying to rob your children from you they're trying to take away your joy they're trying to keep you from having faith and having kingdom life in this life right here thy kingdom come hallelujah and so when he says Verse 8, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. This is the demonic attack upon you and me. And, 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 and in this case, if you look at it, it says, 
Dishonor has all the saints. Praise you, the Lord. Praise him and dance. Praise him with the timbrel and harp. Praise him out loud while you're laying on your bed. And what happens is while we praise God, if we truly praise God, see the problem is many times we're, we're singing a song to God, but our mind is, is uh, on making a roast or something. You know, when, when we close our eyes and when we, when we, when we worship in the name of Jesus, when we're gathered together, just two of us, He's there. We have an audience with God. We have the ability to enter into the Holy of Holies and stand before the God, before God Almighty and to worship Him and to pray and to lay our burdens on Him. But as we worship, truly worship, not, not when you're thinking, you're singing amazing grace, but your mind isn't even on God. Come on, today, I just want to encourage you. I'm not beating you up. I am not even pointing fingers. I'm just saying today, let's do something different or even better than we did before. Let's focus our mind on Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Let's truly worship God. Let's worship God on our bed, out loud. Let's dance. Let's sing. Let's raise our hands. Let's, let's enter into the presence. Let's use our faith to believe that we have an audience of God because we do. And when we worship God, it's a sweet-smelling aroma to Him. And as we worship God, if you look at, uh, I think it's Psalm 22, verse 3, it says that God inhabits the, the praises of his people. When we praise God, God sets his lordship, his throne, his, his presence right in the middle of your praises. And every demon in hell is not going to stick around for that. Our worship is part of our warfare in Christ. Hallelujah. This honor, this privilege, have all of his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Father, I pray that you would make us true worshipers in spirit and in truth. Because your word says the Father seeks for them that would worship him in spirit and in truth. Father, I thank you for your people, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for everyone that might hear this message. Lord God, make me and make everyone, Lord God, teach us how to be better worshipers of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Love you guys.